So we're going up to Judenlove and uh, we're going to do a ride along. We're going to hit a few of the big stores there, which will be pretty sweet. See what we can get, see what we can make, see what we can put in the kitty for show and tell. Ah, oh, fucking roadworks. Alright, so what I'm doing today, I'm doing a hundred dollar challenge. Hundred bucks. I'm not spending any more than this hundred dollars. Hundred bucks. Hopefully, this hundred dollars can get us some good shit. Hopefully, this hundred bucks we can quadruple, quadruple, fucking triple, fucking quadruple it. Whatever the fuck it's called when you make it ten times. What is it called? Anyway, hundred dollar challenge. Hopefully, there's enough for Maccas on the way home, but if not, I fucking go without. I fucking go without. This should be fucking spending on Christmas presents, but instead we're gonna make some fucking money from the hundred dollars. We're gonna make some fucking money. We might not even spend it all. We might not even spend it all, but a hundred dollar challenge. I don't even usually spend fucking hundred dollars. So let's go fucking crazy and get a heap of shit for the new year. Hundred dollar challenge before the new year. Before Christmas. This is gonna be uh, interesting. Hour and a half drive. Hopefully we can get Maccas. All right, let's do it. Come ride with me, let's thrift, let's thrift all day. When you go down to Upshop Town, don't have a dog shit day. So ride with me, let's thrift, let's thrift away. you feel like it's a little bit of a waste of a fucking Saturday, Saturday morning. I've got a fucking bag of shit to post as well. Sometimes you think it's a bit of a waste. It is sometimes, hour and a half drive, and it'll be an hour and a half drive back. That's three hours out of my Saturday, plus a good three hours of thrifting. There's six hours, but I can still get home tonight in time to drink, so it's all right. I can still get drunk. They can all sit in the death pile. I won't list anything, I can sit in the dead pile until I uh, can do that shit. Last week was really bad in my own area. That's why I have to drive all this way because last week was just fucking shit, dog shit. I had a dog shit day last week. Uh, found a couple of good things. They're still sitting in the death pile, I haven't listed them. Uh, but. Uh, it was a dog shit day, I think I've cleaned out. I've absolutely fucking destroyed uh, my area, so I'm having to go deep. I'm having to go fucking deep. I looked at the map and I think I can hit about, I think I can hit about fucking four or five today, so that's all right. We'll hit about four or five. And that's gonna, that's gonna be it for the year, I think, for uh, op shops, thrift stores. I think next week, because uh, I'm not, Getting even closer to Christmas with the traffic is just going to be ridiculous. So I'm going to fucking—it's probably going to be more than an hour and a half because once I get up to fucking uh, this middle area, it's just going to be so freaking busy because everyone doing their Christmas shopping. So a little bit of a waste of a Saturday. I haven't even done my own Christmas shopping yet. Fuck. But next week, I'm definitely this is it for the year of uh, op shops. I'm still going to do my uh, Tuesdays ride-alongs, but uh, we'll. Um, Next week, I think we'll go, uh, next week we'll go to the markets, Sunday morning markets, depending on how hungover I am. If I'm too hungover, then we'll do some uh, metal detecting or something like that. But anyway, let's go to the first store. I don't want to bore you. Um, let's just fucking just shut the fuck. Just first, first shot, fucking first shot. All right, here we go. And we've got so much Christmas shit up. Yeehaw. Doesn't this make you feel all happy in the pants? Welcome, today's manager's special is fucking to get ripped off. So we go over to the uh, good old uh, wrapping paper. We don't need that because Red Dot's got it fucking cheaper. So thank you very much, cheaper than news guys. Look at this Call of Duty. Call of Duty, like, toy set. They wanted, what was it? It was fucking, I think it was $60, $70, something like that. It was ridiculous. Stupid. And you go around these places, and you, look, you check out as much as you can, but the, the op shops are just becoming more of a rip-off. Like, look at these cameras and these games. They just, 
They just want so much for them. Oh, here, here's a Wii game. Fucking $10. Here's a fucking DS game. $10. Fuck off. Star Trek Voyager. You don't need to lock it behind a glass cabinet. No one wants fucking Star Trek. Come on. So anyway, we move away from that crap. I had a little look in the clothes, but uh, I still really didn't know what I was doing. And remember, this was my $100 challenge, so I didn't want to uh, spend it all on clothes. But I did have a look through, and I could not find anything. Uh, I had a little sneaky look at the uh, records, and um, I do got to say I couldn't find any Kamal this time. It was actually surprising. PS1 games and cameras. Look at me, I'm pissed off in that fucking uh, mirror image there. Uh, so yeah, they, uh, they wanted a little bit too much for all that. So, no Kamal today. No Kamal today. And you know, I'm, I'm kind of like hoping a Kamal record comes up to, sometime soon because I want to buy it for a couple of dollars and I am going to smash it. I am going to smash it on the road. And ever since I've had this idea, Bill Cosby, who wants some pudding. Um, ever since I've had this idea of uh, smashing a Kamal record, I cannot find one. But that's alright. They were all shit. They were a ripoff. I didn't want to buy them. So, fuck you later. The CDs, they wanted $3 each for them. I just, who, honestly, who prices this shit? They had some videos here, and they were $2 each. $2 each. Like, no one wants these ones. These ones are crap. Like, Land Before Time, I've got that many of these Land Before Times when I buy boxes off people. And they're not worth anything. Care Bears, it's got scribbles on it. I'm not buying you. The only thing that would have been worth anything out of all these that were in here was this freaking uh, sing-along songs from Walt Disney. But I wasn't paying $2 for it because you would have got 10 bucks for that, maybe $8. And those Bob the Builders, if you get a whole heap of Bob the Builders, uh, which I just sold the other day, I had a whole heap of Bob the Builders. And um, I lotted them up and sold them for 50 bucks. Plus they paid $20 postage, so that was pretty sweet. Um, that was for, I think it was 12 videos, so you want to get them for 20 cents or, uh, 20 cents or, 20 cents or, uh, you know, 50 cents, no more than that. And there's some cassette tapes here, absolute cassette tapes were crap here, but, um, great, I love to film the, uh, wall instead of, uh, showing you what I was actually looking at, uh, realise now when doing a voiceover and probably a little bit too lazy to, uh, edit that out, so let's just keep talking over it. Got an antivirus there. Look at that guy. He looks like a fucking bit of a uh, professor. Good on him. Fucking stopping your computer from getting hacked from people. Audio books. These audio books were shit. Dog shit. This place was dog shit. Didn't like it. Two fucking three dollar CDs. Give me a break. Seriously. These Futurama box sets. I was very interested in getting them. Very interested in getting them. Until I realised they wanted fucking... There's some more uh, Doctor Who stuff. But uh, they wanted fucking $7 for that. They wanted $10 each for those Futuramas. Fuck off. Like, seriously. Like... Well, I suppose... If they want them sitting on the shelves forever. Like uh, all these uh, Sing Stars that you always see. And FIFA. Hey, FIFA. Awesome. And, uh, Guitar Heroes and... Surprised we didn't see any Tiger Woods there. And DVDs as well, three dollars each. Like seriously, they can really, honestly, go suck a dick. I am not paying three bucks a fucking CD and ten bucks a box set. Like if all those were two dollars each, those box sets, I would have got the whole lot of the Dexters and fucking flogged them off. But nah, nah. Seriously, no chance in hell, man. No chance in hell. But that's alright. That's alright. They want them sitting on the, uh... Like the nanny. No one's gonna buy the fucking nanny. Like, look at all the Dexters. It would have been fucking great to get all the Dexters. I don't know if anyone knows. Freaking, uh... Put down in the comments if you know, but... Fuck, uh, imagine if you had all the Dexters to, uh... Bundle up. And you got them cheap. Hey, zero funeral! Zero funeral. And kids ones as well. Parents don't want to spend three bucks on a DVD. They want to spend a dollar. I think I filmed that area too much. Let's let's move on. 
Move on, Dora the Explorer backpack. All the toys here were shit. This little kid was just trashing the place. He did not give a fuck at all. He was throwing shit around and did not care. And his parents were nowhere. This fucking bloke, he was looking for some, uh, he was looking for the fucking R-rated section. There's no R-rated section here, mate. So, I moved on, found out on John's uh, piano. Oh no, it's Ray Charles. Ray Charles piano is electric, uh, electric organ one. I didn't want to buy it. This fucking, this worker over here. This kid's still trashing shit. This worker here pretending to do stuff. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah, no, I'm putting books on the shelf. Bullshit, mate. You're fucking, fucking daydreaming, fucking sleeping while you're standing up, mate. I've done it before. I know what you're fucking doing, all right? Now, that's some all right board games, but they're all open. Didn't want to take a risk or count anything, so that's all right. And uh, Uno Stacco, but it was open. Monopoly and all that crap. All the same old shit, really. I really drove a long way just for all this crap. And then I thought I found a gold mine. These vampire comics. Um, I looked them up. Ten bucks each you can get for them. They wanted six dollars each for them. Six bucks. That one was five. Don't know what that fucking one was. That was the uh, some other goth one. But those vampire ones were the best ones. Six dollars. They can eat my ass with a fucking spoon. They can get fucked. Fucking six dollars when I'm only going to make ten, four dollars profit. Take out the fees. They can go fucking fuck themselves. Ah, same old shit in the books here. You know what? I think it was also one of those days where I just couldn't be fucked. Uh, even though I had the hundred dollars to spend. I just couldn't find anything and it was looking like it was going to be another dog shit day. We don't like no dog shit days. Not around here. Say, so, how many Twilight books does there want to fucking do? Why did people buy them in the first place if they want to get rid of all their Twilight books? Like, look at this shit. It's just fucking junk in this fucking place. And bingo! Fucking first find. First fucking find. Thank you very much. Two bucks. Only two bucks. Alright. Let's get the fuck out of here. This place is shit. We got $98 left. $98 left. And this place is a bucket of shit. Absolute bucket of shit. Don't go there. Do not go there. I can't believe, I just fucking honestly can't believe how much price they fucking, this is why markets are so much better and swap meets and markets, car boot sales, so much better than these fucking places. Two dollars. Two dollars a CD. Two dollars a DVD. Ten bucks a box set. It's just... It's just fucking ridiculous, man. I got one thing. I got a pack of... I got that pack of uh, blank videos for two bucks. Cool. Sweet. Fucking whatever. We'll get ten, ten fifteen bucks for that. Sweet. Uh, there's this fucking... There's this... What's that? There's this um, toy store here. It's like a own brand toy store. So... You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna, before we go to the next uh, thrift shop, Toy Mate. We're gonna go to Toy Mate, because they might have a whole heap of specials on right before Christmas, and we might be able to get ourselves some bargains at this no-name brand, Toy World, Toys R Us, whatever the fuck it is. Let's have a look. And plus, I haven't been to a toy store in fucking ages, so fuck it. We're riding along. Let's go have a look at a toy store. All right, this is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about. Toys galore. I had no idea that this place was going to have so much shit on special. Check out these little fucking things. Six bucks. Oh, I was like a kid in the candy store. I couldn't believe it. Hello. Yeah, freaking thanks for welcoming me. You could have drawn a little bit better on that uh, blackboard. That was the manager that wrote that fucking welcome sign as well. Look at all this shit. This is so cool. It's been years since I've been in a toy store. And then bingo. Fucking wrestling toys for $6 each. And then look at those Nerf guns for 20 bucks. I didn't fucking get them, but uh, still sweet. So many wrestling toys there. Oh, fucking look at that bow and arrow Nerf. It was only fucking, what, $12? 12 bucks, man. 
turtles. Oh, look at all the turtles. Fucking five dollars, our little mini ones. Then we got all those Batmans and fucking Jokers for twenty bucks. Oh shit! I was a kid in a candy store in here, and I had fucking spent two dollars so far out of my hungry, so I had ninety-eight bucks to spend in here. Brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Look at these fucking stupid toys, but anyway, fucking oh, there was all kinds of shit here, all kinds of shit. Board games. Look at all the board games. Oh, so good. So good. I don't know. When's the last time you've been to... Let me know in the comments. When's the last time you've gone to the toy store and just had fun? I had fun. All this frozen crap and Barbie dolls and I bypassed all this shit. But I was still having a look around just to see what was a, you know, a bargain. So I could have a look what was on special. What was on special and then what I could flog off. And that was the idea of it. The retail, the whatever you guys call it, retail arbitrage or whatever the fuck it is you call it. But anyway, fucking, this is what I was doing. Oh, look, oh, so many Nerf guns. Toy Story goes well at the moment, but uh, I wasn't going to make much back on them. More wrestling toys. I dug through those. Dug through those. Kevin Owens. The Rock. Oh, mate. Rubik's Cubes. Pie Face Game. Look at all the Lego. Lego, you're not really going to make a profit on on uh, the prices that they sell Lego at. But, at the same time, doesn't hurt to have a look. And, oh man, coming up here, I found the uh, Ewok. The Star Wars Ewok Lego. It's fucking the Endor. You make Endor and the trees and shit. It's fucking so cool. I'd love to do it, but my dog would probably eat it. All the Star Wars, Spider-Mans, oh, Ant-Man, so good. So many toys, I wish I had more money when I was in there. I should have got myself a bat mask, I could be Batbeard, Batbeard. Batbeard thrifting. Uh, some more. The 12 bucks, pretty good price. Pretty damn good price, if you ask me. More wrestling stuff. I did go a bit crazy on the wrestling stuff while I was there, so show and tell Thursday. You're gonna see a bit of wrestling stuff. Look at it all. I was just having a ball. It was stuff that I hadn't seen in so long. And so cheap as well. Mark down. I know 25 bucks. you're thinking, what? That's not cheap. But yeah, some of those $25 ones go for fucking $60, man. If you know your toys. Some more Roman Reigns up there. They had zombie ones up there as well, I think. Yeah, in the middle there. See the zombie ones? $15. I didn't get there. Mutants. They were mutants and zombies. That's Kevin Owens. I know this fucking bloke. I know that fucking bloke. And, uh, yeah... It's not bad in the wrestling section. I didn't grab anything straight away from in there. I came back to that. Cool little plush toys. Wrestling championship belts. I love this shit, man. Batman. Look at these kiss toys. Ace Freely. 40 bucks, though. So. $40. There's the Catman. Peter Chris. They didn't have any Paul Stanley. I would have grabbed one if they had Paul Stanley. I would have paid 40 bucks too, just for a Paul Stanley, but... No. And we got the turtles. We found the turtle section. You little beauty. You little beauty. And we've got WWE Ninja Turtles. And look what I found in there. Ultimate Warrior Ninja Turtle. Thank you very much. I'll be using my card. That will not be coming out of the uh, $100 kitty. That will be coming out of uh, my pocket for my uh, display. Gotta get me some Ultimate Warrior. And there wasn't two there. I was trying to find a second one. That was fucking awesome. That was awesome. Uh, where am I? This way. Um, so we've done some retail shopping. That was a damn good toy store. If you need Christmas presents, go there. They've got so much shit. Where am I going? So much shit. So these WWE figures were on sale for six bucks each. Six bucks each. 
One was 10, uh, one was 25, but I'm pretty sure Yokozuna I can get some good money for, more than double my money for. Uh, show and tell, I'm gonna look forward to show and tell and all this stuff, oh shit. I don't know how much I'll film in the next uh, shop because my phone is gonna die and we all know what happens when my fucking phone dies, I can't get home. But that's all right, that's all right. All right, let's go to the next shop. Op shop, good Sammy's, last one. I'm only gonna do that first one was shit. That first one was shit. Uh, spent two dollars, and this fucking toy store I spent ninety dollars. So we got eight bucks left. Eight dollars left. We are going to spend exactly a hundred dollars. I'm gonna make sure I spend a hundred dollars. I can show you the receipt. We spent. Where are we? We spent ninety dollars on toys. I did actually have my card on me and I did purchase separately two figures for myself which I'll show in show and tell uh, we'll go with my ultimate warrior collection can't believe I fucking found them can't believe I found that Ninja Turtle ultimate warrior it's just insane I've been looking for that forever and I can get some good money for it but I'm not selling it so I use the cash for the uh, other stuff use my card spent 50 bucks on myself just for two toys but I haven't brought myself toys in a while, so they're going straight up on the wall. Alright, let's go to the next top shop. Alright, this is the last one. So I had, uh, I had eight dollars left. Eight bucks left. And sorry if the audio is not that great, because I dropped my snowball blue after, uh... Saturday Night's Live, and um, it is not working, so I'm just using the computer's microphone, and it's probably going to sound like fucking dog shit, but that's alright, so this bloke, yeah, cheers for getting out of my way, mate, no worries, just the, uh, you know, it's not like I wanted to look at that stuff or anything, but um, I'll have a look excuse anyway, the games, they're just standing there talking, they didn't give a fucking shit about moving for anyone, a bit fucking selfish if you ask me. It's my area, it's my fucking op shop, I'm not letting the fucking VHS Rifter come in here and fucking... That's alright, I'll uh, walk right around all three of you while you're talking. Didn't even want to look at that stuff and... Oh, I'll squeeze through, thanks love. Cheers for that. Fuck heads. So I'll fucking make my way up here. Straight to the uh, electronics. And, uh... Had a little look at uh, the records, see if I can find myself a Kamal for two bucks. No luck. No such luck. And they had some videos there that were shit as well. DVDs they wanted three bucks for. Like, fuck me. Like, what town did I fucking drive to? Like, rich person's area or something? Yeah, it was rich person's area. Fucking idiots. But, hey, it said 50% off there. I didn't realise that on the day. Doesn't matter, they were all shit DVDs anyway, they were absolute shit. Had a little look through the games, nothing like filming the fucking roof for you so you can see what I'm actually looking at. Fucking dickhead. Uh, this video is going fucking great, isn't it? But uh, yeah, have a look through there, absolute crap. <laughs> One of the store guys got chased by a magpie, I fucking missed that because my phone died. Oh man, if I only got that on fucking camera. One of the store people were fucking screaming and a couple of customers were screaming as well because of this one magpie, it was hilarious. So a couple of customers and the store people, oh, they were scared of it. Oh, man, the, the, the camera always runs out at the fucking wrong time. Anyway, look at this shit. This was all crap. I'm done. I'm done in this thrift shop. I'm done thrifting. I think I'm done thrifting for the year. Fuck it. Well, well. That's it. 100 bucks gone, 100 bucks gone, 100 done. The DVDs were a rip off there, games were shit, my phone died so I couldn't see how much I'm gonna get for what I fucking brought. But I got, I spent exactly the last $8. Well it wasn't exactly, oh shit, my phone's dead, I don't know where I'm going again. All right, this way we do. I got, a pair of Nike football boots for seven dollars, seven bucks. Don't know what they're worth because my phone died. And then they had magazines there 
and in the magazines they were 25 cents each pretty fucking sweet for 25 cents each and I found these uh, Dimmix or DK whatever those books are anyway rock and minerals and animals and something like that I could only find three that I wanted I only find three that I wanted 25 cents each so so today I spent in the hundred dollar challenge ninety nine dollars and seventy five cents but I spent the whole hundred dollars because I gave the twenty five cents to the young lady at the desk twenty five cents bonus so it's exactly one hundred bucks I did a hundred dollar challenge I can't wait to charge my phone and see what all this is worth because I've only got a slight idea I actually have no idea this might only be double my money to be a hundred percent honest I don't know I really don't know so cheers guys don't forget uh, if you ever want to buy anything from my store there's my eBay account down there spinning around type it in and have a little look um, I'm on Instagram, I do not accept any uh, Facebook requests, so don't even try, it's all private, but Instagram, if you want to message me, any, any shit on there or whatever, fucking message me on there, all good, don't forget to subscribe to all Australian, all Australian thrifters, YouTube channels, we all have different content, it's all different, you'll learn something from everyone else, I don't need to mention any of their names because you know you just type in Australian, you just type in Australian fucking thrifting and see what comes up and you decide, this week you decide what you want to click on. Well there's some damn good ones out there, I tell you what, there's some damn good ones out there and a damn good community. Now don't forget to subscribe and like for me or do what the fuck you want. I don't give a shit, I'm just going to keep making these videos anyway, the subs are fucking going high. The subs are going high. It wasn't a dog shit day today. It was pretty damn good. I'm looking forward to show and tell this week. But, guys, I want to go home and crack a beer and get pissed. I want to go get fucking annihilated, get fucked up. I've got the Christmas spirit. I'll look at this shit tomorrow and fucking see what we're going to make. It's fucking awesome. It's been a fucking good day. Toy stores are fun. Fuck, it was fun. Wasn't as busy. Wasn't as busy as I thought. The ob shops are cleaned out. Ob shops are shit at the moment, so honest advice, honest advice at the moment is do not go to op shops until the new year now. Go to your markets, go to your toy stores. Um, if you're in the, uh, where was I, Joondalup area? Joondalup area. If you're in the Joondalup area, go to Toy Mate. It's called Toy Mate. They had so many good fucking figures there and all that. Actually, I shouldn't fucking tell you because you're going to go fucking buy all the same ones I got and undercut me. Fuck. That's all right. That's the game. That's the way it is. All right, guys. I'm on my way home. I'm getting the fuck out of here. S subscribe, like, do what the fuck you want. I'll see you at Show and Tell on Thursday. It's been fucking real. See Come ride with me, let's thrift, let's thrift all day. When you go down to Upshop Town, don't have a dog 